Hey, 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 everybody. This is Hunter, and today I have an awesome fifth wheel tour for you. Today I'm going to do one a little bit quicker than the most. I just got engaged on Saturday, so I'm going to get home a little bit earlier than normal, celebrate with the lady, grill out some food, play with our three month old baby, and have ourselves an absolutely wonderful night. But here I'm going to go ahead and put some specs up on the screen. And if you guys don't mind, if you guys could hit that subscribe button. If you find any value in the videos that you're watching. But again, this is the 2022 Sabre 36 BHQ. This camper features four slides, a mid bunk room with a loft above, a ton of storage. And I think the Sabre is just absolutely beautiful. I'm thinking you will too. If you guys are in the market too, uh, my contact information is down in the description. It is hunter at the RV hunter.com. I would love to be the guy that works with you to save you a ton of money. The dealership I work at RV nation. There is a reason why we are the number one selling towable fifth wheel in the country. And that comes down to price, price, price. But as you can see, this thing is awesome. Tons of space down here. You got this beautiful Island kitchen with some accent lighting, big residential refrigerator, your oven, your entertainment in the back. We'll go ahead and go back to front today. So this is a mid bunk, like I said, with the loft above. So typically people that are buying these are one, either traveling a lot for work and need kind of an office space with a bunch of storage or two, you got a bunch of little ones with you and you need something for the family. So this sofa right here will pull out so you can sleep an additional two people. You have little cubbies to the left and to the right, along with two USBs and two outlets on either side. So that's a nice feature to have. You also have a lot of windows in this unit. As you can see, these slides are absolutely massive. You have your zebra shades, and I set it up in kind of every which way. Right here, blocks out the sun, lets in a little bit. And then of course, you can have the window just kind of wide open. But I love what they did with those zebra shades. I even think the decor looks really nice. There's a little up close to the couch so you can see what you're rocking with there. Up above, you got some storage. We'll open up one of these, flash your right and left. So it goes the entire width of the interior width of the camper. So you're ready to roll there. You got yourself a pantry with plenty of storage here up above, a fireplace. It's about 45, 50 degrees here where I'm at. And I've got that fireplace in and quite frankly, it is getting roasty and toasty in this room. So that will definitely knock the chill off, save you some money on some propane there at the campground. Give you a good little look at this right there. Bada bing, bada boom. You're storing blankets, all sorts of nice stuff. Or maybe not nice. I don't know what you got. But either way, you can store a lot of the stuff right here. Automatic light, real good size pantry. Take a look at that. Got yourself a microwave, three stove top burners, solid surface countertops, little gray stone oven, and I'm sorry if I'm moving fast. Like I said, I'm trying to get home and celebrate, but I did want to get you guys a little bit of a video after taking a week off to kind of recharge after doing that Riverstone. Felt I should definitely at least get something out tonight. Accent lighting here, plenty of storage. You got three of those bad boys. Black stainless steel bowl with a residential faucet. Even got yourself a little hand sanitizing station. Put some Don dish soap in there. You'll be cleaning dishes with ease. All right, across the way, you got yourself some recliners, those things are very comfortable. I've taken naps in many campers just like this with that exact same furniture. You got four uh, cup holders, one, two, three, and four. The ones on the outside are kind of your control panels. You know, you got, uh, you can turn the accent lighting, you know, on and off. You have massage and you got your heat mode. You also have a little additional storage right there as well.
Get your dinette that can seat four right there. Play yourself some cards. Have a nice dinner. Sit back and relax. Above the island, you have this nice, beautiful little light fixture with uh, whatever you call that little wood block, but it is nice. I apologize. I'm not an overly fancy fella, so I don't know what the technical name for that is. But uh, if you do, if you know what it is, definitely make a, drop a comment. Educate me a little bit. Got a ceiling fan. Really nice size ever chill refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator. Plenty of storage in that. This is definitely large enough for a week long trip. No problemo. Give you guys one more little view of back here and then I'm gonna show you this mid bunk. So another pull-out sofa, which will go out to right about there. Got yourself some outlets right here. Another little window that's also an emergency exit. So if you get blocked or something crazy happens, you do have a way to get out. Just push that out, unlatch it, and you're ready to roll. Got your lights, two USBs, and two outlets right here. And then you have kind of a little entertainment, you know, meets dresser, you know, style uh, area. Sorry, like a man, I'm a little fidgety today, but. Having a pretty good day though. Two USBs, satellite, and two of the GFCIs. Two of those drawers. Little hanging closet action. And you got more of your traditional kind of storage right there. Put some foldables maybe if you have too much for that dresser. So right here, as you walk inside the door, first off, you can see solid, uh, solid entry steps, which is always nice to have. But right as you walk in, you got yourself a nice little closet and right up inside of there, you can't really see it on the camera, but you got those little octopus hangers, you know, right there. So that way you can hang up, uh, you know, some coats. A couple USB ports, a place where you can control, you know, all your temperature. You got your voltage so you can tell what you're reading. All your slide controls. You can do your awning, your lighting, your slides, your leveling, all from one central place. You also have a group uh, place for different settings so you can run diagnostics. Really neat place. Won't get into that too much on this video, but maybe here in future videos. Get your water pump, your water heater, along with your lights. If you don't want to control them from that. Got this little ladder that kicks out and a nice little grab handle right there. But this goes up to your loft, which as you can see, a little bit of storage, a little bit of a, a window to give you hope. Two USBs and two outlets. Another little window there. Really nice size restroom, honestly, for a camper this size. Sometimes they like to shrink these up, so I'm glad they actually put, you know, a full-size shower. I am uh, now, I was a 320-pound six-foot man, but now I'm a 284, probably six-foot-one now because my spine is decompressing, but I can actually fit in this thing no problem. Small showers and fifth wheels definitely are a turnoff for me, and this one definitely is a nice shower to have. You also have a you know, nice little glad finish. Let's get that flex game going. This is the bowling arm right here. If you guys ever come to Ohio and you guys are big on bowling, make sure to uh, hit me up, take you down to Madison Bowl. Your boy's got an average of about 200 right now. So I am flexing on the competition. Going for a fifth straight league championship. Whew. Man, I could talk about bowling all night long. It is awesome. <laughs> some storage here up underneath a couple outlets and then right inside of here instead of flexion I should have been showing you that hi mom 
check out the bedroom, which this has an awesome closet. This closet is absolutely huge. Can't wait to get to that. King size bed. So you're ready to roll. Some storage there underneath, and you'll see it goes the most of the way back, you know, which is pretty rare. Usually they cut off like right about here. So that is definitely nice to have. You got tons of storage right there. To the left and to the right, again, you got USB outlet, USB outlet, a couple little windows, and a nice little place where you can put maybe a drink, something like that. Another set of outlets right here, light control, and this will control your second AC, you know, or the heat right there as well. Across from your bed, you have an area for a TV backer. So you hear it's nice and solid. That way you can put a bracket right into that and zoom, zoom, ready to roll. Satellite, two outlets, little dresser. You get three of those drawers. Another emergency latch. So right here, they gave you access to it. Um, it's prepped for a washer and dryer. So you can add one of those if you would like. Got a couple outlets, hot water, cold water, but you also got yourself a little hanging bar right there for some hanging clothes. And if you open up this, got this really nice size closet up here. So you got that shelf right there, little cubbies back there, little shelving right there, but check out the size of that. That's just a nice little closet. But that about wraps it up for the interior. Now I'm going to head around out. Probably only spend about two, three minutes out there. But if you guys made it this far, if you guys could hit that like and subscribe button, it would help me out greatly. I certainly appreciate it. And again, if you guys are in the market, my email is hunter at the rvhunter.com, which you can also find down in the description of this video. So solid surface, dual axle. Auto leveling. You also have this great pass through storage. Check out how massive this thing is. Even put some lights in there, which is nice. Cable hookups, and you got some outlets right there as well. Really good size awning on this with the LED bars here on the side. Two marine grade speakers, so you can get some music bumping. These slides also come slide topper prepped, which is a nice thing to have right there. The rails just slide on into that and you attach them at the top of the camper or not at the top of the top of the uh, slide and you're good to go. Those run you about $700 a piece. Definitely something that is uh, you know pretty handy if you don't wanna jump up there and clean off all the crap Ola that might fall. Got yourself an observation camera. So while you're driving down the road, you can see what's going on. Nice little receiver hitch. I believe that holds, I should see if it says, so I don't have to believe anything. Yeah, it holds 300 pounds. So you can put a little rack on there or maybe some bicycles, whatever it is that you wanna pull around for that. And as you can see, prepped up again on this side. Prepped up again here and prepped up right there as well. Get your hot water heater. The back side of that pass through storage, that massive pass through storage, but you also have a little place that's conveniently located. You get yourself an outside shower, winterization made real easy, your hot water uh, heater bypass valve, black tank flush so you can clean out that pooper tank nice and easy. And you got your satellite hookup right there as well. Your propane controls for your auto level are right up here. You get yourself your docking lights, bada bing, bada boom. A little bit of storage with a spare tire. But guys, that about wraps it up. I'm going to go home, celebrate, grill out some chicken, watch a movie and snuggle up with the lady. My name is Hunter. This was the 2022 Sabre 36 BHQ. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. See you guys.